The last piece of performance analysis deals with indirect costs. Variable indirect costs have two variances, efficiency and spending, while fixed costs have only one, spending. The main difference between direct and indirect costs comes in the efficiency variance. For indirect variable costs, the efficiency variance is the difference between the profit plan with all actual results, except for indirect costs, and a new profit plan that uses the actual amount of allocation bases rather than the budgeted amount. For instance, if the allocation base for energy is machine hours and the sales adjusted machine hours was 1,000, but the actual number of hours was 1,200, the energy efficiency variance is 200 hours times the budgeted allocation rate. Budgeted number of hours minus actual number of hours times budgeted allocation rate. 1,000 minus 1,200 times budgeted allocation rate equals 200 times budgeted allocation rate. Unfavorable. In this case, the variance would be unfavorable because more hours were used than needed. Notice that the efficiency variance for indirect cost is associated with how efficiently the allocation base was used. Spending variances for indirect variable and fixed cost are similar to direct costs. For variable indirect costs, the variance is the difference between costs estimated using the actual level of allocation base times the budgeted allocation rate and the actual variable indirect costs. Actual number of hours times budgeted allocation rate minus actual allocation rate. For fixed indirect costs, the variance is the difference between budgeted costs and actual costs. A final comment on fixed costs. Often, fixed costs are allocated to performance objects using a standard. The rate for this standard cost is estimated as the budgeted fixed cost divided by the budgeted capacity of the allocation base. Budgeted rate equals budgeted fixed costs divided by capacity. For instance, if machine depreciation is allocated to products using capacity, each time a unit is produced, a standard depreciation is allocated to the unit. At the end of the year, the budgeted fixed costs allocated to the units will be different from the budgeted costs unless the company produces exactly the budgeted capacity. This difference, which represents excess capacity, or it may end up being overproduction if production was above capacity, is sometimes considered as a variance and called production volume variance. While the other variances raise questions that need to be answered, this one is just an accounting concept.